Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am shaking in my boots right now as we are seeing the breakout of the symmetrical triangle. Oh my God, it's so bullish, I cannot believe it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are looking at right now. I will give you my perspective on the symmetrical triangle and if we are seeing a magical breakout to the upside. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you really enjoyed the video. If you do, absolutely smash that like button as high hard as you can. Smash it, smash it, smash it, as we hope to absolutely smash these charts today. Feeling good, feeling happy, and ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what you and I both absolutely love, and that is the technical analysis. So ladies and gentlemen, let's do a quick two-minute recap of yesterday's video. That is before we had this beautiful symmetrical triangle. Okay, we obviously were looking at this section of the chart right around here. And we were obviously talking about the potential move to the upside. And I also think I made it pretty clear what I was looking for for a short position. And that was obviously a deviation from the top of the range. Uh, obviously, this is the thing where it comes to trade the charts. Do not get emotional. Yeah, do not get sidetracked by news. You always have to stay true to the charts. And yes, of course, it could have pushed higher, but as soon as you get the deviation back into the range, that is where I think I made it pretty clear where I would take the short position. If you lacked confidence on taking the short position, well, in the champions group, as soon as I took my short, I also posted that in the group for, you know, some people just like to have that little confidence booster, but this is what the, you know, this is what it looked like yesterday. That for me was, you know, the scenario that I was looking for for a potential short. And obviously in the end, um, you know, that short played out pretty well. If I, you know, did play out pretty well as we obviously dropped all the way down to take these series of lows, which naturally of course is always gonna be a take profit. Okay, we obviously, that was the deviation where I took my original short position, obviously had a nice take profit here on this. And well, we all know what's happened now. We're all the way back up towards the high of that range. So if we come back over to the chart right now, so that's basically bringing us up to where we are here. Now, this was the deviation. This was the move down where you had this almost A, B, C type pattern, come down to run some lows, quick snap back up to the channel high, move back down. And then obviously you have this symmetrical triangle. And, uh, you know, I I think sometimes YouTube can be a bit of an echo chamber where I'm sure literally every single YouTube channel right now is talking about the symmetrical triangle breakout. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going to give you like food for thought here in this video, because what's the point in me saying, oh, this is the symmetrical triangle. This is the measured move. And this is the breakout target. You know, you can just get that information from anybody. So my food for thought is, Okay, <laughs> we are, we have formed a symmetrical triangle. We are, you know, up at the top of the range. But what about if this is, you know, what if this is a liquidity grab situation? E.g., what do you need, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to fill a really big short position? You need a lot of longs. And what could this scenario be? This could be a liquidity grab situation to generate, this is generating a lot of longs. So, you know, this this needs to be paired <laughs> with a lot of shorts, okay? Because for every one long, there is obviously one short position taken. In terms of one contract for one contract is a zero-sum game. For every winner, there's a loser, okay? So that is my food for thought scenario to bear in mind. Personally, I have not taken a short off of this yet, uh, just because... <laughs> Although, yeah, I can kind of understand that <laughs> we could have a liquidity grab situation. This, this for me, is just not a standout... It's just for me, it's not really a standout short position here at the moment. Um, to be honest with you, if, if we are to run some liquidity, I would like to see a run of the actual high. Uh, this right here, or even this, the, even the last high here, if we're just putting in a lower high, this last high was 669.5. This is 654. So obviously we've missed this high here by about $10. So you can see you haven't even taken that high. Yeah, for me, this is just not the best time to jump into the short. I de I, I'm personally not longing here. And I know that's what the majority of people will be doing. They will be longing right here for the breakout trade. I, I'm personally not, well, basically I'm in no, you know, no sculpt position here. I don't want to long the breakout. Uh, if you look at the volume, the volume on the, on the break was, uh, I, I wouldn't really class this as a high volume break. You saw, you know, a move into the resistance and, you know, you've ended in half the wick. So this for me is nothing massive. I don't want to long the breakout really simply. I'm not that uh, type of trader. 
But I also do not want to take the reverse fading position of the sculpt short here. I, you know, it's kind of like the, the situation yesterday when I was saying I'm not shorting yet. I want to see a push higher. By the way, if I got that wrong, I was well aware I would have got a lot of abusive comments. So thank, thankfully, I got it right with, a, with at least the move above the high. Imagine if we had just dumped on that video, I would have, I would have got a lot of hate. Uh, but thankfully, I got it right. Uh, <laughs> and for this scenario here. Yeah, I don't know. This for me just doesn't... You have to remember in trading, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. In trading, you do have to wait for, you know, those golden ticket. I've said it before, golden ticket. Just trades that scream at you, take this trade. Like, this is a really good trade. Like, for in my opinion, yesterday, that deviation from the range, that was a really good trade. Because the invalidation is so easy. The stop loss is above the high. And you're talking about, you know, in the end, of a five over, actually, 5% move to the downside. So you're risking 1% to, you know, essentially win 5%. It's a really good, it's a really good type of trade. And you have to wait for them. You have to be patient for them. Does this seem like a really good trade? In my opinion, no, not really. Because you have to remember, you have you still have your intraday support, uh, you know, in my opinion, still coming down at around that 13, you know, basically 39, 400, where we put in this last low, basically the range point of control. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. For, for me, it's just not one of these trades right now where it's just like, yeah, this is really, really amazing trade. And I kind of, you know, at the moment, I do not see an amazing trade. OK, all I know is this is not a trade long. That I would just never long this. OK, um, and I would like to sculpt short it, but I would have also liked to have taken that high for me to take the sculpt short. So, you know, this just doesn't offer a trade for me at the moment. If it falls down, I know, you know, where I would be interested in longs again. Obviously, the middle of the channel would be pretty nice if we come down to around that, you know, thirty eight thousand dollars again. I would be more than content to look for longs around here. Would I long the top of it? You know, I ask you this rhetorically. Do you really think I would long this breakout into the range high? Like just just think about it. Is this a long I would ever take? Of course, you really should know the answer by now. Just as yesterday, do you think, the, what trade was I looking for yesterday? The only trade I was looking for was the short. I was not interested in the breakout of the long here. If it had just gone up and up and up, I wouldn't have traded the breakout. Just as here, if it, if it does, you know, if the breakout traders are correct and it does maybe a bat test of the triangle and, and runs up, Hey, that's absolutely fine. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't mind that. It's just for me, it's just not a golden ticket type of trade. And why do I have such a high win rate in trading? It's because I will only take the, what, in my opinion, what I class as a very good trade. Yeah, you do not have a good win rate in trading if you take all these, in my opinion, substandard trades. Yeah, this is a bit of a gamble. You know, this is a total gamble. Uh, so you know, I you know, there's always this, there's always this back and forth, like, you know, trading is gambling, and then I'll come up, then, you know, so how do I have a 90% win rate? Well, you know, then they're stuck thinking, you know, how, how is that the case? Well, of course, trading, every single outcome in trading is completely random, but you can still have your statistical edges to back you up in the market. So in my opinion, it's definitely not gambling, but taking a long or a short here is a bit of a gamble. Why? Because we do not have a statistical edge in our favor here. Uh, or, or, or for my from my statistics and the way I trade, because I, I do not trade the breakouts. So um, yeah, that, that's kind of my viewpoint, viewpoint here, a bit of a hopefully food for thought scenario of why you might not want to uh, potentially long breakouts blindly, uh, especially when they're not massively high volume breakouts and half the volume is actually short in here. Uh, you know, I don't want this video to go on too long. It's already eight minutes, but basically you can come into the volume chart here and you can see of the breakout candle, this was 184 million volume. You might think that's fairly large, but the delta of the candle is only 33 million. And if you come on down to a five minute chart, you will actually see how this is split up. So you have the 89 million on this candle. If you look at the open interest, it's all declining, all declining. Here you had about 4 million longs jump in and then, you know, 1 million shorts jump in. Then you had, you know, 7.6 million longs closing. And now you're starting to see it pick up a little bit, but you can see that, you know, this isn't really a sign of strength, is it? You're seeing 3 million, 6.7 million, 4.7 million, and then straight back down, um, you know, straight back there. You know, this is this is just not something that I would class as a, a, a momentum, you know, trade. Um, yeah, no. So yeah, obviously there's there's one thing. What I mean by this is there's one thing just looking at the volume here on trading view, and there's obviously the next thing like looking into it and how the volume's formed. I'm not going to lie. Prior to the breakout, this was looking pretty nice. Okay, so you look at this. This, this looked pretty nice, and you had to imagine, uh, you know, if you got into your long, you know, let's th 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 say off your support here. At around 9 a.m. this morning, I totally agree. 
at 9 a.m this was a good long okay so if i just zoom in here and show you and this is to be the last thing i think before i wrap it up if you if you got in at you know if you're awake at 9 a.m and you saw this trade off of you know your support line the on top of the cc almost yeah you see this this is a good long i totally agree that's a good long and if you back it up here you would have also seen the sign of strengths that you have coming off of this you know it's a really nice open interest that's a really nice volume and you definitely would have been on the perspective that that symmetrical triangle was going to break up so it's one of those things of course this would have this was a good long and you have the technical reasons to long there but then the, longing the breakout is is no longer a good long in my opinion just because well the volume kind of sucks on the breakout yeah the volume sucks the open interest is is obviously declining on the breakout it's just this is not good a good long um you know so well <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, <laughs> again, I'm not saying it cannot go up from here. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. It's just it's just an acknowledgement that that for me is not a uh, you know a, a good volume breakout. Okay, and, and that's really not my opinion. That's backed up by what we just looked at here. Yeah, if you understand what I'm talking about here, you can I think you can agree with me that this is not a uh, healthy breakout. You know, obviously you have to understand order flow. But look at this, like you can see the, the sell walls, they're up. You know, we had this nearly 10 million long in here and it's already back below the price. You know, it's just, you got to think about it. Can it go up? Of course it can, but hey, if it goes up here, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a long from the breakout. So, you know, it's totally, I'm totally fine with that. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, I think I've, I've rambled on a little bit here. I hope my insights have been helpful to you. Um, you know, so final words, I suppose, are, Let's say you're under the perspective that you've not long the breakout here. I think you've got to be aware. Yes, this can push up higher. Yes, this can push down lower. And anybody that tells you differently doesn't know what they're all about. This can go anywhere from here. It can continue to go sideways. It can go up and it can go down. It's kind of irrelevant to us where it goes from here. What we want to do is know the levels we want to trade. If it is to break up, yeah, if this is to break up, we need to know the levels where we want to trade from. And if it breaks down, we need to know the levels where we want to, you know, where we want to trade from. Obviously, I feel that the best sort of, that's just out of interest. I haven't even, you know, I literally haven't even bothered to look at the measured move of this because for me, it's just kind of irrelevant. But let's just see what people would be targeting. So they're going to be targeting around uh, 42,200 if this continues to break up. And that would have obviously brought you down to the middle, middle, middle of the channel. To be fair, I do think that this would be really nice if we broke down to around 38K. I do think 38K would be a really interesting long. We might not get down there, of course, but I would pretty much love that if we did. Um, <laughs> basically, I would kind of love that. And if we broke to the upside, people are looking at around 42K. So I think you got that 41, 41, 500, obviously a resistance above us. That would kind of front run everybody's target. And, um, you know, I, I feel 38K is a pretty nice uh, support. Obviously, it's quite a drop from here, and I'm not necessarily thinking it's going to come down here within, uh, you know, within a few hours. It's, you know, it'd be a, you know, process that would take a lot of time, and you might not get down there, but one would have to imagine that's a fairly nice long if we do. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a different perspective. Uh, if you have, smash the likes, everybody. If you haven't, hey, give me some constructive criticism down below. Say, Daniel, you could improve if you do this. Hey, I'm more than open for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I would always say, hope you've had an absolutely brilliant time watching this video. Of course, at the end of the day, it's not financial advice. I'm just giving you some perspectives of my opinions. Um, you know, understand the legal disclaimer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more, if you want to see some real-time updates as they're happening, well, that obviously happens over at Chart Champions. Where I gave that sculpt short as soon as I took it yesterday. Obviously, it resulted fairly nicely. Um, now we're on to the next trade. So... I've personally closed that scope short, by the way, and now I'm looking for the, for the next trade. It will come to me, but at the moment, I just don't see anything properly amazing. Um, yeah, so there you go, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day, and goodbye. Cheers.